Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Sometimes I stagger even myself with my genius. Sometimes if you listen very carefully, you can hear my genius. The scope of my engineering genius literally knows no bounds. Because, as you can see, the vents I cut in the bonnet are now windows. Well, hang on, you've just... No, said... I like it. This is brilliant, <coughs> but I like this. Let me put it to you this way, Hammond. Oh, bad news. What? The Dacia Sandero. It's delayed. Oh, no. Anyway, last week... <laughs> hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why he gets the job hosting crafts. <laughs> Ready? Steady. Dog Tanyan. <laughs> Where's Hammond? Well, call him. Right then, lads, we're going to get on with this. Let's get going. Well, that works. This is called 90 Mile Beach because it is exactly 55 miles long. I don't understand that either. And the three of us had ticked all the BBC health and safety boxes. It's quite exciting. It is. Now I'm switching to the hover seat. I can't. I think you've got something to say to me, haven't you? I'm surprised how heavy rugby posts are. Something along the lines of, I'm sorry, James, I am a fully rigged, rate A1, ocean-going pillar. Sir Steve pillar. Redgrave will be here in half an hour. You're the most famous guest we've ever had on. Here, this must be a terrible show, then. <laughs> We couldn't just invite a celebrity tonight and ask them, so, where do you think you came on the board? Because there's no other names on it. So, we thought of a way of getting lots of names on it all at once by inviting lots of celebrities. It's so quick, it can destroy your entire face. 